Hi, I am Rohan Indurkar and this is my final project presentation for wireless communications. The name of my project is Bit Error Rate Analysis for Various Modulation Techniques. The bit error rate of a modulation technique is important because it determines the energy per bit to noise ratio required to be transmitted for a given signal. The EB by N0 influences the bandwidth required for the particular modulation technique. The spectrum available for wireless communications is limited and so it is important to use this spectrum judiciously. Now, in order to utilize the spectrum more effectively, there is a need for efficient modulation techniques and channel coding techniques in order to maximize the use of spectrum and accommodate more number of users. The aim of the project is firstly to compare the different modulation techniques like BPSK, QPSK, 8PSK and 16QAM on the basis of BER. Secondly, to find out the best modulation technique in presence of channel impairments like additive white Gaussian noise and Raleigh and Rysian fading. Thirdly, to find out the performance of modulation techniques in presence of noise by using channel coding techniques like block codes and convolution codes. The modulation techniques implemented in this project are BPSK, QPSK, 8PSK and 16QAM. The performance of each of this modulation technique is compared in presence of channel impairments like AWGN, Raleigh fading and Rysian fading. Now in order to maximize the performance of these modulation techniques, channel coding is implemented. The channel coding techniques which have been implemented in this project are Hamming codes, Gole codes, Reed Solomon codes and trellis coded modulation. The turbo codes can be a further extension to this project. The simulation and performance evaluation. The simulation of various modulation techniques was done in MATLAB. Okay, now I'll show the codes and simulation results. Mainly there are five codes which have been implemented in MATLAB. This is the first code which is used to calculate the BER of BPSK in presence of AWGN channel. The code is, is divided into uh, two main blocks. Uh, the first block uh, gives the various inputs like signal length, maximum number of iterations for a single SNR, the bit energy and the signal to noise ratio. Now I'll run this code in order to get the simulation results. The continuous line shows the theoretical result whereas the crossed sign shows the simulation results. So the theoretical and simulation results match with each other. This is the second code which shows the, perf the BER performance for BPSK modulation in presence of Raleigh fading channel. The number of bits or symbols is given as input and again this code is written in a self-explanatory way with the help of commands. So now I'll simulate this code. The blue line here shows the theoretical calculation or the theoretical result for BER of BPSK in presence of AWGN channel. The blue line shows the theoretical result for BER performance of BPSK in Raleigh channel and the pink line shows the simulation result for BPSK in Raleigh channel. So, as the blue line and the pink line coincides, we can conclude that the performance of BPSK in Raleigh channel matches to the theoretical result. Okay, now this is the code for calculating the BR performance of QPSK 
in an AWGN channel. I'll simulate it. Okay, so this is the result for EB by N0 versus BER for QPSK. Now the performance of QPSK in presence of Raleigh channel can be plotted as follows. Okay, so the green line shows the performance of QPSK in AWGN channel. The blue line which coincides with the pink line shows the performance of QPSK over a Raleigh channel. Okay, uh, this is the code for computing the BER versus EB by N0 for 16 QAM channel in presence of Raleigh channel and AWGN channel. Now, this code is written in a self explanatory way with the help of comments. Uh, I'll simulate this code for you. Uh, okay, so this is the plot showing the EB versus EB by N0 versus BER plot for 16 QAM. And the red line shows in the Raleigh channel and the green line shows in AWGN channel. The previous figures um, show the constellation diagram for different SNR values. Now the BER tool is used to plot the BER performance for 8 PSK. The, the performance of 8 PSK in presence of AWGN is as follows. Now we can change the channel type to Raleigh and if we enter the diversity order to be 4, we get the following curve. Now, in presence of Raishian channel with a diversity order of 4 and the Raishian factor value as 2, the performance of 8 PSK would be uh, okay. So, now I'll ex explain the other results in the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so the results are broadly categorized into four types. Firstly, the effect of different channel impairments on QPSK. Secondly, uh, we are comparing the different modulation techniques in presence of AWGN channel. Thirdly, we are comparing different modulation techniques in presence of Raleigh fading and Raishian fading and measuring the effect of change in the diversity order, which is R, and the Raishian factor, which is K, on the performance. And lastly, the effect of channel coding on the performance of different modulation techniques. This is the plot for the BER performance of QPSK. The blue line shows the performance of QPSK in AWGN channel and the green line and the red line which coincide show the performance of QPSK in Raleigh and Raishian channel. The diversity order and the Raishian factor were not taken into consideration when plotting this curve. This shows that the performance of QPSK in presence of AWGN channel is better than in presence of Raleigh channel and Raishian channel. Now, this curve gives the BER performance of different modulation techniques in AWGN channel. 
the green curve and the blue curve the coincide and they represent the performance of BPSK and QPSK respectively. The red curve represents the performance of 8PSK and the 16 QAM is represented by sky blue color. So the BPSK and QPSK techniques require the least EB by N0 followed by 8PSK and 16 QAM. As the performance of BPSK and QPSK is almost same. So in order to maximize the utilization of spectrum, QPSK is preferred over BPSK as QPSK is more bandwidth efficient. This curve uh, gives the performance of different modulation techniques in presence of Raleigh fading where diversity order is supposed to be 1. When the diversity order is increased to 16, it can be seen that the performance of different modulation techniques has improved as they need lesser EB by N0 ratio. This plot shows the BER performance of different modulation techniques in Raishian fading channel when the diversity order is 16 and the Raishian factor is 1. Now, if you compare this graph with this graph wherein the Raishian factor has increased to 4, it can be seen that the performance of modulation techniques has been improved and they need lesser EB by N0 ratio. This plot gives the performance of QPSK in presence of channel coding. The performance of QPSK is best when convolution coding with soft decision decoding is used. It is so because con when convolution coding with soft decoding scheme is implemented, the EB by N0 required by the modulation scheme is the least and it increases for convolution coding using hard decision decoding scheme followed by Gole block coding and Hamming block coding and then Reed Solomon block coding. The performance is least for the case where no channel coding has been implemented and it needs the largest EB by N0 ratio. Now, what we conclude from this project? Firstly, the performance of a modulation technique is best in presence of AWGN channel, whereas the performance in presence of Raishian fading is better than in case of Raleigh fading channel. Secondly, BPSK and QPSK have the same performance in presence of channel impairments, but QPSK is preferable as it is more bandwidth efficient. efficient. In presence of channel impairments, QPSK requires less energy per bit ratio as compared to 8PSK and 16QAM for data transmission, but it, it needs more bandwidth. In the case of Raleigh fading and Raishian fading, as the value of diversity order increases, the performance of all the modulation techniques improves and they need less energy per bit for transmitting the same data. In Raishian fading, as the value of Raishian factor increases, the performance of the modulation technique improves. Convolution codes give better performance than block codes. And lastly, soft decision decoding schemes improve the performance of the system by 2 dB as compared to the hard decision decoding schemes. Thank you.